a heart of gratitude brings more blessing and lasting happiness. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is check your choices. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both you and your descendants may live. We want to look at the 10 lepers. You know, it's a choice whether to be thankful or thankless. We have a choice between a grateful heart and a grumbling heart. We can live a life full of thanks or otherwise. But let me say this, not giving thanks fuels entitlement. A heart of gratitude brings more blessing and lasting happiness. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, Paul wrote, In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In Luke 17, 11 to 19, Jesus healed 10 lepers after they cried to him. You see, Jesus was not supposed to be passing through their area, but it was a work of destiny for them. And secondly, they even cried to Jesus for help. Because in those days, leprosy was a contagious disease with no cure, just like coronavirus. So they were banished into a colony. But Jesus stopped. He reached out to them and healed all of them. He gave them an instruction. Go and meet the priest. Let the priest examine you. It's like the doctor examine you. And you are, you'll be well. But out of the ten, only one, a Samaritan, returned to thank Jesus. In Luke 17, 18 to 19, were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? The Samaritan. And Jesus said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Although the other nine lepers were well physically, but this Samaritan received wholeness. In gratitude, may shut your heavens until you thank God your healing or your miracle is incomplete. So I want you to choose to be thankful. Never forget any kind deed. Thank you.